everybody game time brian here otherwise known as the mailman just got done delivering the mail in this scorching weather here in south jersey it was a little bit of a breeze but it was pretty hot out there today and i'm hearing thursday and friday the heat index is going to be like over 105. i love the heat just don't like working in it um got some news people i got some news it's not great news um this is what i told mark holmes mark holmes i will get to you shortly regarding Catboy. um but the news of the day not good um donovan wilson uh you know they like to um exaggerate with the whole he was carted off early the good thing is, early uh, news coming out is that it's a calf. Now, if there's a torn calf, a pull, a badly, hopefully it's a badly, it's just a pulled calf. Regardless, if it's a calf, take it from me. I played uh, baseball at a decent level. I pulled my calf uh, really bad. I was out for a couple months, so if. Donovan Wilson has a strained calf, then you're looking at a month. You know, you really want to be careful with those uh, soft tissue injuries. If it's a torn calf, you're looking at a couple months, three months. I would say it's probably a severely pulled calf muscle, but let's just everybody pray that it's not a knee. A uh, knee, it would be, he would be gone for the year. Um, that's just. That's just what would happen. Donovan Wilson, first day of OT uh, of uh, training camp. I don't even know what they were doing. I'm on my way home now. I'll let you know. Um, but uh, yeah, not happy with that. I told Mark my main concern. I understand we have to learn a new offense. I do understand that. Um, but uh, they're going to keep a lot of the stuff that worked. So I just wanted to come out healthy. And literally, the first day, literally the first day, um, we have an injury to Donovan Wilson. Let's just all hope that it's a, he's only out a few weeks. Um, maybe this will allow us to uh, really do what I wanted to do all along. I don't know their plan for the preseason games, but play the young guys. Play the rookies. Do not play the veterans in games in the preseason just play the young guys let them battle it out for roster spots um but i wanted to go over a couple of things you know and now i'm going to jump into mark holmes mark holmes says i need to take it easy on Catboy. i want to know what everybody thinks do you think i'm too hard on stephen jones listen i was pleasantly surprised that they were able to sign um Trayvon Diggs. Pleasantly surprised. That's a great start, Mark. Start. That's awesome. Um, you know, I'm already seeing Philly 500 saying, yeah, yeah, spend the money, spend the money. We got, we got the money. You know, but we have a lot to do. The fact that that deal was done first, you got to remember, people, he was 91st round draft pick. So he doesn't get the fifth year option, and then you could... I don't want to do it, but you could potentially franchise tag and extend it to a sixth year and possibly a seventh year. They didn't do that. He was willing to make a deal, um, you know, so that's what it was. But it's a, basically a five-year, $97 million deal, uh, an average of like 20.8 AAV, that's average annual value, you know. I don't know the guarantees, but he's happy. It's going to help the team. We keep our young stars, which is what I told you I wanted to do all along. Everybody wanted them to go out and get this guy, get that guy. The, you know. Now, I want to keep our young superstars. And people, Eagle fans, if you don't like Trayvon, he's a beast in the East. He has a lot of interceptions against the NFC East teams. Last year, his interceptions were down because he concentrated more on being in the pocket of the receivers. Uh, and he had a great year. 
he's a playmaker, man. He leads the league in, in interceptions since he was drafted as a defensive player. Those are just facts. You can couch it all you want. Sometimes he's a little bit too uh, frisky and he gambles a little bit. Didn't do it as much last year. Hell of a deal, Stephen Jones. Stephen, good job. Now get back to work because you have a lot more that you need to get done. Um, you know, Mark Holmes is going to send you a card thanking you for doing your job, I guess. Um, listen, it's one move, Mark. You got to do C.D. Lamb, okay? Now, he was drafted. You do have time on him, but I don't know, people. I want to be proactive. Don't you guys want to be proactive? Why wait? Because Justin Jefferson is going to get the world. You see what's going on with the quarterbacks, and I'm going to get to Dak, but why wait? Just you give him a, a top three, a top two wide receiver money. It's going to be $17, $8 million a year annually. That's what it's going to be. You know, um, you're actually going to save money in the deal because you're going to add some portable years. But he was drafted in the first round, his CD, and you could hypothetically the hypothetically franchise. I don't want to do that. So you need to get C.D. Lamb done. But more importantly, right in your face, you need to get Zach Martin done. Zach Martin needs to be taken care of. He's sitting down and say, how many more years do you want to play? If he says, I want to play three more years, possibly a fourth, then you make it a five or six year deal. Add the portable years in. Give the man his money. It'll, yet again, it'll lower his cap number for this year. You know, you have to take care of him. Zach Martin is losing $50,000 a day. Okay, so after today, it's 100000 So, uh, the clock is ticking on Zach. You don't want to upset Zach Martin going into a year where a lot of people have us going to the Super Bowl. You know. They're a very talented team, Eagles fans. I know everybody thinks it's the Eagles. Dallas Cowboys are right there with you guys. So we'll see. Um, but you need to get Zach Martin taken care of. Terrence Steele, okay? You ha you don't have to get that done this year. But we've heard for a month now, or three weeks, that they're working on a deal. So that's two. You got CD, Terrence Steele, Zach Martin, and, oh, by the way, the one that um, will save you the most is Dak Prescott. It's funny. Everybody was complaining about how much Dak Prescott was making, right? Dak Prescott is already down to, like, seven or eight in quarterback money. I was told that once that Joe Burrow signs his new deal, after Herbert just signed his ridiculous deal, um, Dak's going to drop to 11 in... AAV, annual average value. So, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what Dak is going to want. Regardless, you stretch it out, you'll bring his cap number down. Money is not an issue. Um, so, we're sitting good. We Just remember, I'd rather get the deals done now because we got a beast that's coming up next year. Um, you would probably want to do a Micah Parsons deal next year. He's going to be $30 million a year annually. Oh, well. That's how good he is. So, um, these deals need to get done. You need to add the portable years, uh, and we'll have the money under the cap to do it. Um, but, you know, getting to Justin and Herbert. Herbert signed a five-year, $262 million with just shy of 219 million of that guaranteed for a guy who choked up a, a 26 point I know it's a team game but he choked up a 26 point lead in the playoffs last year uh, you know Dak beat him last year so it'll be curious to see now Burrow was going to make more than that I would assume It'll be curious to see what Dak's number is going to be when this all shakes out. Um, but, you know, the Patrick Mahomes deal, where he's making like 41, 
boy, is that looking like a bargain. And he's locked in for like the next six years, I want to say. So, you know, um, this whole Saquon Barkley and the running backs had, you know, these running backs had their Zoom call. Supposedly, it was only like three or four guys, the elite guys. I don't know what was said on that Zoom call, but Saquon takes basically the franchise at 900000 He could... He could earn um, two million more, make upwards of eleven. Um, so he can make almost two million more if he hits every incentive. But a lot of the incentives have like the team goals that are included. So you know he could make up to eleven mil. But um, you know it's just really lets me know that the reason why these NFL owners have they've looked at their cap they've looked at future contracts you saw with Thomas and New York uh, Giants the offensive tackle he just got he set a record and he's slightly above average you know Andrew Thomas in New York um, and the NFL owners have said we can't afford to play the pay the running backs this elite money anymore because of you see the quarterback market blowing up you see offensive tackle with a guy like the Andrew Thomas who's good really good he just set a record for offensive linemen making money so that market's going up the wide receiver market is going through the roof you know what Mike is going to get that is why the running backs are not um, you're going to get paid what they used to um, so it'll be interesting I'm thinking they're going to fall into the 6 to 9 million dollar range expect that uh, franchise tag number to come down yet again um, but yeah let's just keep our uh, let's just cross our fingers that Dono is not out for the year and it's just like even a pulled calf is not good, but now is the time to do it. Get it out of the way. Um, Luke Schoonmaker. Um, I'm afraid that this might be turning into a Jalen Tolbert type washout year. Now, the one thing about Schoonmaker is I think he's still going to have a place on this team as a blocker. Um, I do think he's going to be on this team. He's a hell of a blocker. I think he'll be active, but... He has that plantar fasciitis on his foot. He is going to start out on NFI, non-football injury injury list, which is not good because that's what Jalen Tolbert did. You want these guys in camp, you're getting the reps, and he's on the sideline right now. So I'm going to stick to my guns and say that Jake Ferguson is going to lead this team in the tight end room. You know, I only have us taking three tight ends into the season, and I have uh, McKeon uh, as the odd man out, but if Schoonmaker can't get healthy, he might be starting off the year on some sort of injury. IR, short-term IR, I don't know. Um, not a good deal. Um, you don't want to start out that way, but let's just hope they're being extra precautious, but you don't have a lot of college games played, so, you know, it, it is what it is. So, but yeah, Mark Holmes, I'm not going to anoint Catboy anything right now. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. They need to, he needs, a, he has a lot of work he still has to do. Um, that's just, these are the facts, people. These are the facts, and... I'm just waiting to see these contracts that we're getting ready to do. I really am. Um, just real quick, I'm going to try to do another video this week. But just FYI, we have uh, Saturday Night Live, uh, me and Primetime Phil on Primetime Phil, brought to you by Primetime Studios. That'll be Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, as always. Uh, Eastern time. We're going to have special guests. We're going to have 
Space Cowboys Media in the house, and we're gonna have Cole's Cowboys. We're gonna go over, a, you know, the first few days of training camp. Hopefully, we have some good news on that front. Um, but yeah, join us Saturday night on Primetime Phil. Uh, brought to you by Primetime Studios. Uh, I will put that link in the comments of this video. Um, so yeah, please don't forget uh, Saturday night. But um, one more thing, Mark Holmes, I understand you were doing a live, man. Can't be hanging up on your boy. Come on now. Now, I know, You're, he's a busy man. I should, I, I mean, I never call Mark, so I should have just assumed that he's doing a video, right? But, uh, I, you know, last time I saw him, he was spackling. I didn't realize he had people there telling him. I was pretty happy that we signed Diggs. So, um, but Mark, he's got a lot more to do, my man. He's got a lot more to do. So I ain't anoint nobody nothing. I, I, I'll talk to everybody tomorrow. Hopefully I'm going to try to do a video on my lunch break. Game time, Brian. Out. Peace.